Hey, this is Eric Brown with Auto Trader, and today I'm driving this all new 2020 Polaris Slingshot. Now, the new Slingshot might not look that different from the old Slingshot, but Polaris has made some big changes under the hood with an all new Polaris engine and finally an automatic transmission option. Let's take a look at what the new Slingshot is like from behind the wheel. Before we dig into the big mechanical changes to the new Slingshot, let's cover what else is new. Aesthetically, the crazy look of this three-wheeler hasn't changed very much. The body is pretty much the same, but the front end has been changed to look more modern with a slick new LED light signature. There are new paint jobs, new wheels, and new factory options available, but other than that, the look really hasn't changed much. The interior, however, is another story. The inside of the outgoing slingshot wasn't that different from a UTV. It was very plasticky, especially in the lower trims, but it was sufficiently comfortable. The interior has been much improved in the new slingshot, making it feel more like a sports car. There's a redesigned leather-wrapped steering wheel with audio and cruise controls, and a slingshot mode button that lets you switch between the sporty slingshot mode to the more tame comfort mode. There's also a spot for your phone now, which is a big deal. Now onto the new engine and transmission. The new engine is a two liter Polaris designed inline four called the Pro Star engine, and it was designed specifically for the slingshot. It replaces the old GM Ecotech engine in the previous slingshot, with the new Pro Star engine being up on power but down on torque compared to the old engine. In the R trim of the slingshot, you get a little over 200 horsepower, and this new engine redlines all the way up at 8,500 RPM. The engine loves to rev and it has a lot more character than the GM motor that it's replacing. The manual transmission feels slick and delivers confident shifts, and we really wish we could say the same about the new Auto Drive automatic transmission. This is the first time the Slingshot is available with an automatic. It's a single clutch automated manual transmission, which was chosen because of its light weight. The weight benefit is nice, but this transmission holds on to shifts too long, is surprisingly jerky between shifts, and just isn't a performance tuned transmission. If you want a slingshot just because you love the look and you don't know how to drive stick, then auto drive is just fine for cruising around and being stared at. For the enthusiast, however, the manual is a must. The chassis of the slingshot has been tweaked with improved suspension and steering. The result is a more refined and more sports car-like driving experience. The old slingshot drove like a fast side-by-side -side that you could drive on the street, which certainly made it fun in its own way. But the new slingshot drives more like a proper sports car, but with three wheels. With all of these improvements, the new slingshot is decidedly better than the old one, but these improvements come at a cost. The starting price of the slingshot has gone up by almost six grand compared to the 2019 model to $26,499, and that's just for the SL model with the auto drive transmission. If you want a manual, you have to upgrade to the Slingshot R, which starts at just under $31,000. There's no shortage of good sports cars with four wheels in that pricing territory, and some of the most luxurious touring motorcycles you can buy. Whether a slingshot is a good value is pretty subjective considering what a unique vehicle it is and how few direct competitors it has, but it's safe to say that there's nothing else on the road quite like it. If you like the new slingshot, like this video and subscribe to Auto Trader for more.